Good morning. It is 8.30 a.m. and I'm just doing my makeup and I'm gonna go do packages and eat some breakfast and I'm going on a thrift adventure today and I'm so excited. It's my favorite thing in the whole world. So I'm gonna go to a random town. I actually did this recently. I've been to this town one other time before and I am just gonna explore different thrift stores and hop around to different ones. So I'm gonna drive like over an hour away. Okay, so this is most of the orders we have to do. I'm gonna just do as many as I can. Yay, we did it. Of course, I got more orders while I was doing that, but it's time to go thrifting. I, I need a thrift, so we're going. This outfit, I feel like, is 80s golfing grandpa, and I love it. I love it. Okay, so we made it to the first thrift store. This one, I found some of my favorite pieces from last time I was here. <laughs> Lord Jesus, please bless us with a bountiful harvest. I'm probably just gonna thrift today, bring everything home, and then show you my favorites. Okay, that thrift was delicious. We got her right here. We are on to the next one. Found these like purple and orange glasses. Got another pair and I couldn't tell if they were cute or not, but they were $1.99. So I figured let's risk it for the biscuit. I literally look like, like a fly. Honestly, I felt some really weird energy in there. I don't know, people were like not nice. I don't know if it's my outfit today and people just not understanding what I'm doing when I buy like a hoard of clothes. It just like hurts a little. There was one old lady who really just wanted to talk to me for like 30 minutes and um, just ask me questions and tell me all about her life. And um, uh, I just wanted to be nice, you know? Sometimes you get stuck in those situations where people have a lot more time than you do. Okay, so we're gonna go to the next one. This was a good haul. There was a Salvation Army over here too. And last time I went, it just was like, I found a few good things, but I feel like I looked really hard. And it was my first stop and it was just kind of disappointing. So I think I'm just gonna skip it. I mean, how much stuff do I need to get today? I'm like leaving in two days, three days, two days. Two and a half days. So I'm gonna go to the ones that were really good. And I'm gonna eat a little snacky. Okay, we're here. I've had my snack. I was eating a balanced break and flung cheese all over my car. There's like loose cheese in my car for sure. I got what I could. Wow, it is a questionable area. Usually that means really good thrifting and I have been here before and the thrifting was so good. But I just saw two guys walk in who looked like they were going to rob the place. Like if you saw them, you would know what I mean. And last time people actually did do that. They, they didn't rob the place, but they stole a cart full of stuff. A girl pulled up in front of the door and the other girl ran out with the stuff and then also a lady gave me twenty dollars she just gave it to me she said young lady and she put it in my hand and i was like what and she was just like and she walked away i was like oh one of the guys just walked out got in his car pulling up by the door he literally is pulled out by the front door waiting for the other guy. There's another lady walking in. I bet they're stealing. Am I supposed to do something? Should I just go in? Like I've been out here for like 10 minutes. Although part of that was me cleaning up cheese. I just want to see what happens. Like maybe I can catch it on camera. Get the license plate. Okay, the other guy got in the car. He did steal. Now I feel bad. I mean, but what was I gonna do? I've only been here twice now. This is my second time and it happened both times. That's not cool, guys. Well, now I feel bad. Didn't get the license plate. Am I safe? I forgot my taser at home today. Okay, I'm just gonna go in. I'm recording on my phone now because my memory card is full. Let's just do this. Also, I know they stole because one, he like pulled up to the door and the guy ran out and the clothes were not in bags. Like they were just bought. They were still in the hangers. So hungry. Honestly, a perfect day to me is going thrifting all day and then getting Chipotle and coming home, drinking some wine and going through my thrift haul. This to me is happiness. So I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna do a vintage draw, pour a glass of wine and we're gonna go through 
my script haul. My bowl was free because my points, my favorite hobby is eating in bed. I'm not kidding. Usually I'd watch something. Well, I eat, but instead I'm sitting here recording myself eat, which I don't really prefer. <laughs> I'm looking at the thrift haul right here and I'm seeing some good pieces. And I'm just like, I remember picking it up, but I just get so excited when I'm in the thrift store. It's like I black out. I vaguely remember getting this, but it's just different when I see all of it. I love it so much. I probably even make it look a lot more fun than it would be like for someone else because I love it so much but I can see how this would not be fun at all for like most people this would not be fun and I mean yeah the thrifting part is fun but there's so much work that goes into doing this doing all the photos sitting and editing for hours putting stuff on the website doing packages and then you do the same thing over and over so you really have to love what you're doing I really even love doing packages I love making the packages nice like if you've ever received a package from me I mean I I hope it was amazing. I try to make a lot of them look like cotton candy with like the tissue paper and I put candy and scrunchies and a little thank you card. I used to put stickers. I think I gave a girl a sticker today. I just haven't ordered them again because they're so expensive. I really need to do this job so I'm just gonna go pour some wine. This was everything I needed. Mm. Okay, I finished my drop and I just need to get through this haul. It's probably gonna take me the next few hours. It's a lot of laundry, so I think I'm just gonna get through this and call it a night for the vlog and then try to show you my favorite pieces tomorrow. Maybe we can style them together because I have to pack anyway, so that sounds like fun, right? It's been a long day, so... Okay, one more thing. When I do a haul, I grab three baskets and I separate into darks, lights, reds, pinks, like anything that's gonna ruin everything else probably. And that really helps with the process and I'll sort them as I go through as well and take off all the tags and I immediately wash everything because that's important, okay? And people always ask me like, do you wash your clothes? Yes, of course I do. All right. I'm really done now. Love you. Hello. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's been three weeks since I filmed the thrifting part of this video. It's now a new year. So much has happened <laughs> since then. I went thrifting and it was the next day. I had finished my haul and I shot the inventory. I really struggled because it was cloudy and I had to leave really soon. And so it was just kind of a, a lot of stress because I'm like, Ugh, I have to be able to drop this stuff before I leave. Didn't do that. I didn't drop anything again until I got back. I was just kind of struggling to to be honest i could barely even pack i was actually so burnt out i realized also too part of the reason it was so hard for me to film the thrift haul is because i just was not as excited about those pieces as i am about you know other hauls or like this sweater i love this sweater i'm just gonna show you my favorite pieces from the past three weeks i've actually been sourcing quite a bit just pulling together a rack of things i want to show you that i'm most excited excited about so that's what we're gonna do today i'm having a me day a creative me day and so we're gonna put together outfits we're gonna take photos we're gonna i don't even know we're just gonna do stuff we're probably just gonna like film things like here and there throughout the day this is not an outfit i would wear i'm wearing pajama pants because because i work from home and that's really the only reason i need to give and i'm wearing this sweater with them because i was wearing just this brown tank top and i felt like it looked kind of plain which added to my paleness so just appreciate the sweater. Yep. I don't know why I'm sitting on my bed to show you. I just, I love it very much. It's very fun. Back is fun. Everything about it is very fun. I need to style it differently than this. So we're going to work on that. I hope this sweater isn't distracting while I show you stuff. Okay, so I found some really great Harley pieces lately. This one, this is just like one of my favorite Harley pieces I've ever found. I've found another one like this during this summer. And so finding it again, I was like, because oh, I've thought about this piece again since then. So really excited for this one same kind of theme this spike week hoodie so cute the colors cotton candy 
this like color block jacket are you kidding me and i cropped it a little more it was already cropped but i just felt like it hit the waist in a weird spot to where it kind of like it made me look bigger and i think it's just a more flattering crop line so i'm excited to wear this and style this today and get it in the shop asap okay these are two of my favorite pieces that i found recently how cute it's so small it's like an extra extra small or an extra small it's worth the squeeze it's a children's size 10 and then another care bears one you guys are really getting the cream of the crop today and i'm so glad because that other thrift haul it was good but it wasn't like amazing i usually find like a couple amazing pieces in every thrift haul and so oh no my battery's gonna this is like a few amazing pieces from each thrift haul for three weeks almost a month so we love these i'll show you this one again so cute made in usa i mean this is i feel like it's probably 90s just like looking at this graphic and these sell for a lot i see these go for like a hundred dollars finding this for like 10 bucks kind of a steal another favorite i love strawberries like on clothes this one is just precious such an old hands tag made in usa usually if it's made in usa it's 90s or older i would say this is probably 80s okay sorry if it changed i had to change my camera battery and then was just wrestling with my camera for for like 10 minutes okay i found all of these at the same time in the little boys section these little vests i just dropped this one last night and then these two i'm gonna drop today this one i cropped i accidentally cropped it a little too short but it's still cute but yeah they're all y2k little boys vest so cute and they actually fit really nice too which is surprising i almost didn't get this one because i'm like the neck is too high it's gonna look weird but i got it anyways because i'm like if it doesn't fit me it'll at least fit a smaller girl also found this one too also from the little boys as well as this which i thought this might be too small as well but it's actually a pretty cute fit it has like a three-quarter sleeve type of fit okay this also is one of my favorites it's so cute oh my gosh i love teddy bears and balloons so i dropped it yesterday and someone bought it even before i posted about the drop and i was like kind of salty i'm gonna shoot in this today honestly that'll be part of my styling today i really love this top it's like paris italy you know i think this is italy it doesn't really matter it was made in the usa i just want to make sure i get the description right i don't know okay this sweater is pretty fun too i hope it's not too distracting with the one i'm wearing right now but this is just cute this is gonna drop tomorrow what else okay this one was actually in the original haul that i was going to film and then didn't i love i'm gonna take any almost any 80s print especially pastel i am just obsessed with this i shot this on juju in texas texas was great by the way i really enjoy being there i spent christmas alone the year before i don't think i want to be alone on christmas again it was really nice to have like a tree and lights and ornaments and my family but it was just fun i just loved it so this is something i feel like i I want to shoot in i love bike week merch always looking for it another 80s sweater i love this one i dropped this yesterday it hasn't sold yet you know if you love it too it might still be on the site this one's kind of random it's like a hawaiian flower print little y2k tank top these pants are so cute it's actually hard on my body you can even see that is my haul. Those are my favorite pieces that I found. I think next I'm just gonna take a little break from filming and recording. I'm gonna put on some good music and just start trying on some outfits and maybe I'll make some matcha. And yeah, I'm just gonna have fun with this and then I'll show you things that maybe I put together that I'm pretty excited about. Update, I've just been styling outfits and making a mess. I'm still in the same sweater. Obviously, this is a more functional outfit than the last one. Yeah, I really like her. I'm a big fan of this outfit. And I've really been loving berets lately. I haven't styled that many outfits, but quality over quantity and i did wear a really cute outfit with a care bears shirt but i forgot to show you before i took it off but i did shoot a tiktok of it so 
I styled one more outfit. I've been slowly styling like three outfits so far. But it's just also because I've been shooting stuff and it's been really fun. Okay, so it's like dark in here now. So this is going to be the last outfit for today. And it's really hard to show you these outfits with this like horizontal vibe here. Can you see that? I feel like you can. Sorry if I didn't give you enough outfits. There's always going to be more. I'm really hungry. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet, but I have some ideas. If someone actually finished this video, I, I really appreciate you, so.